welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Yeah, well, I know I'm a day late and a dollar short, or maybe I'm a week late and $10 short or something like that. But whatever. Keep going. All right. What I wanted to address is something I should have looked at quite some time ago. Of course, I'm behind schedule on just about everything. Uh, even making the schedule. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now let's see. Got the candles that I picked up recently. Shroom light that I don't even remember when I got those. But yeah. Okay, so the question of mine decor comes up occasionally, like when mining. So let's see. All right, now, that's enough for development stuff. All right, now, see, I've got some slabs here. That'll do for right now. I'll settle with what kind of slabs another day. But, yeah, slabs in here and there. And over here will be either more slabs or stairs or something like that. And sort of a similar arrangement on the ceiling. Now, there was the issue of lighting, of course. Now, one of the reasons I picked up the candles is because they look different. It's unique. Of course, now I discover that you can't put them on ceilings or walls because they have to be on a flat, horizontal surface. They have to be on top of something, which is all fine and dandy. I noticed that don't, I don't see any light. Interesting. Are these candles like non-burning ones? Okay. They appear to block the path, too. Okay. That's interesting. Two, three, four. Okay. Why am I pinned? Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. That's why I was pinned. Okay. So, yeah. The question is, are the candles supposed to emit light? I would expect them to. Okay. Well, the first thought is, get a couple of pieces of iron. Oh, for crying out loud. Flint and steel, come on. Oh, duh. That does kind of require a bit of flint, now doesn't it? Duh. All right, all right. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. You can light them up. 
the question there becomes how long do they burn? I mean, do they burn like forever, like torches do? Or do they eventually run out? Good question. Well, I'll leave them going and we'll see about finding out. Okay, so as usual, down the middle of the mine shaft, there will be minecart track with blocks of redstone to power the uh, power rails. The question is what blocks to use, what look to have. You know, what is this whole mess going to overall look like? I was thinking about candles sticking out from the walls, but they apparently don't do that. Of course, one could have... Well, wait a minute, how about this? A shelf sticking out. with a candle on it. And that could be either a shelf or it could be like inverted stairs or something like that. That would be doable. Assuming sufficient light is put out. And do you need one, or is it better to have two or all four? Good question. Inquiring minds want to know. I know nothing about the candles. I just only recently discovered that they were in the game now. So, yeah. Uh, but the overall decor, you know, that's an issue. Uh... And then there's the thing with the shroom lights. I could go ahead and use, like, say, one here. And then the next one, say, three spaces, one more, like that. That could be doable. And then uh, inverted, you know, top slabs going in here. Or maybe have these things up one more additional block. Like that. That's conceivable. Yeah. That is something that could be done. So that's a possibility. And it looks decent. Honestly, when I first saw these, I thought it was like some kind of a new glowstone texture. And uh, apparently not, because on mouse over, it's shroom light. Yeah. So that's another thing that I didn't realize was new. Yeah. So, still working on figuring this out. I don't have a whole lot of diorite, which would normally be my, well, you know me. The diorite would be normally my go-to material, like for the ceilings, polished diorite or polished diorite slabs, something like that. I kind of have to admit, I like the idea of a shelf with a candle on it. That kind of looks good. Maybe not necessarily cobblestone or stone. You know, harvest a bunch of wood and use oak slabs. Something like that, maybe. Or inverted oak stairs. That's a real possibility. It might be the thing to do. But, uh, you know, the, the whole thing with the torches on the, in the central corridor 
that's for when it, for the part of the mind that's being worked. Once it's done, it needs to be fleshed out, put some real overhead lighting, or maybe something like that, and get rid of the torches, you know, so that it looks more, well, I was going to say more real, but, well, you know what I mean. Maybe more lived in is a better way to put it. Something like that. Something like that sort of kind of almost. Yeah. I'm sure you get kind of what I mean. Okay. So this is what we're looking at here for right now. Something like that. Uh, I think it might be a doable thing. And I'm definitely interested in using the slabs of polished diorite. I'll make up a bunch of them here. Come on. Polished diorite. Polished diorite slabs. Thank you. Yeah. And it's very possible. Something like that might be acceptable. And of course, duplicate it over on this other side. Yeah. That might be doable. And it looks like the candles are continuing to burn. They just need to be lit. That way you have an option of lit or unlit candles. That's fine. Yeah. That might be the thing. I don't know. Uh, in any event, input, suggestions, ideas are good, because one of the reasons this is so late in the doing is that I have had something of a shortage of ideas. I don't want to have it look like every other mine shaft that has ever been made, ever. And uh, I'm kind of skirting close to that now. And uh, that is not of the good. Okay, I think this is actually looking reasonable. The question is, what extreme to go to with the candles? I'm kind of leaning towards one each instead of multiples. And I'm definitely liking the idea of a shelf-like thing here, which would either be a slab or an inverted stair. A slab would probably cost a heck of a lot less, but still. 
and I really don't have a problem if they're just going to be hanging out. Like that, just kind of, yeah. I think this might be the beginning of something that could possibly resemble something right. I don't know. Uh, the big thing is going to be, I think the biggest thing is going to be the, the color palette, the block palette, the, you know, what to use it, what materials to use for the overall look. Because uh, the basic idea of the mine shaft, the way I've been decorating them so far for a few seasons now, has always been kind of physically the same kind of design, uh, largely. Not entirely, but largely. And uh, this is a little bit of a variation on that. But actually what to make it look like. You know, what materials to use in terms of how it looks. Colors and textures and patterns and yada, 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 so on. So, input on that regard will be of high value. And, uh, by the way, for those that have mentioned or questioned about this in recent weeks... Uh, I will say that I do actually try to read most, if not all, comments. Uh, I do. Usually most, sometimes actually all, but uh, there's so many that there's no way I can possibly reply to all. And uh, sometimes I'm just not in the right kind of headspace or whatever you want to call it to uh, actually get much in the way of reply work done. But I do read almost everything. And I appreciate all of them. In any event, this is me being stuck. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.